Okay, now we've looked at muting the thinner strings by angling the fingers down. But what if we need to mute the top string to stop it ringing accidentally? Okay, now we've looked at muting the thinner strings by angling the fingers down. But what if we need to mute the top string to stop it ringing accidentally? Well, if your thumb is long enough, you can reach slightly over the top of the neck to touch that string lightly. You don't need to reach right over the top at all, just enough to touch it lightly with the pad of the thumb. Now make sure you're not pressing on the string or you'll accidentally fret the note with your thumb instead. Just a light touch to mute it. And this is really useful when you're playing chords that don't use the top string, like say A5. Now here you should be holding the D string, third from the top, at fret 2 with the index finger. And picking these two strings, the A string and the D string. Now the thing is that it's really hard to avoid picking the top string as well and having it ring out accidentally. So, you can mute it with the thumb to make sure the chord sounds just right. Okay, so remember that you can mute the top string by touching it lightly with your thumb. And that it's useful to do this when playing any chord that don't use that string. <laughs>